Here are the eight basic moves of your Supreme Pilates Pro. Now you will get a huge range of workouts with your DVDs, but this is a good start. So during the workouts, I will be referring to modifications, which is a stepping stone to the full expression. So take the modification at any time throughout our workout. Okay, we're gonna start with the sculpting bar attached to the tower. Towers all the way up to the top point. We're gonna lay on our back. This is singles and doubles. So we'll do this throughout our workouts, but these are a good start. So you're gonna lay on your back. You have an overhand grip on the sculpting bar. Modification, your knees are gonna stay bent the whole time. You wanna make sure that your knees stay over your hips. You're hugging your belly back towards your spine. You wanna soften the shoulders down your back. And on an inhale, we lengthen here. And then exhale, you're gonna lift your chest and bring the bar to the thighs. So this is the modification. Okay, you keep your knees bent. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. So the full expression here, I'm gonna extend my legs and bring it back and back. The exhale is forcing air out of the mouth and I want you to inhale through your nose. Do three more, nice and strong. Last one. Okay, so the doubles are that same movement, but at that top, when we're pressing the bar towards our thighs, we're gonna pulse the arms twice. So those are the doubles. We'll refer to those again throughout our workouts. So same thing, modification, you're gonna keep your knees bent. Otherwise, if you wanna come with me, we'll move into that full expression. So inhale, lengthen out, and then exhale. Nice, strong arms. Try and bring your feet into that Pilates V. So heels in, toes out. Okay, one more. And down, all right. So that was our singles and doubles. Okay, so next I'm gonna take you through a teaser. We're gonna use our pull-through bar for this. So we wanna lay on our back, head is gonna be facing towards the tower. This is a traditional Pilates move here. It's a great move for your abdominals, legs, arms, everything is gonna be working here. So you have an overhand grip on your pull-through bar. The modification, you can either keep your feet planted on the mat, or you can bring your legs up at that 90 degree angle. Knees are gonna stack right over your hips. So the modification would look something like this. We're gonna inhale, bring the bar down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, keep your knees stacked right over your hips. So you're just lifting the chest. This is the modification. Okay, full expression. We're gonna extend the legs and down. And down, good. Full teaser that we're lifting all the way up. Let's do two more. Lift, bring it down. Last one, let's lift and hold, hold, breathe. Embrace the quake and take it down. Nice work, you guys. Whew. All right, so that was our teaser. Okay, so having the sculpting bar attached, this is a reverse standing crunch. So you're gonna have an overhand grip on the sculpting bar. You want your feet about hip width distance. You wanna soften the shoulders back and down. You wanna take an inhale, lift through your chest first. And then on the exhale, you're gonna think of chin to chest, round it all the way down. Press that bar towards the shins. And then slowly take your time, come all the way back up. So we're just rolling the spine down, you exhale. Inhale on the way up. You wanna keep that tension in the springs as you lift. Exhale, chin to chest, round it down. Hug the belly back towards the spine. Legs are stretching out here. Good. Let's do one more. Chin to chest, round. Keep drawing the belly in. Hug it in as much as you can. Squeeze and then release. Slowly take your time, come back up. All right, that was our reverse standing crunch. Next, we'll be moving into frog. So you want your flex straps attached to the tower. 
you're gonna roll onto your back. Go ahead and bring those flex straps to the arches of your feet. Now I like to have my hands kind of up here by the tower, it just gives me good support, but you can always release your hands down by your side. It's really your preference. So for frog, you're gonna draw your heels in and your toes out. I want you to flex your feet. So we're feeling that in the inner and outer thigh. We're gonna inhale, bring the knees into the chest as much as you can, and then exhale, extend out. So inhale, exhale, extend. Again, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out of the mouth. You're pressing the heels in towards one another. That's the tricky part. It might look easy, but you'll know once you start doing it, it's really challenging, keeping those heels pressed in. Let's do two more here. Low back is pressing into the mat. Okay, last one. Inhale, stretch it out, exhale. Okay, great work, you guys. Go ahead and release those flex straps. And, all right, that was our frog pose. Pilates V, this one we're gonna use the flex strap attached to the tower. You're gonna roll onto the back. Again, draw the feet right into the flex straps. You wanna have them in towards the flex strap on the arch of the foot. You can place your hands either above you or down by your side. Think of hugging that belly back towards your spine and then lacing up the rib cage here. So we wanna pull everything nice and tight. Pilates V, the heels are gonna be in towards one another. You create that open with the feet. So we're gonna take an inhale here. Exhale, shh, hug that belly in. Inhale, we're gonna lower down. And exhale, bring it up, shh. Inhale, legs are nice and strong. Good, bring it up. So at the bottom of this move, squeeze the glutes. So I want you to get that extra little oomph in there. So we're squeezing, exhale as you come up, shh. Inhale. Exhale, shh. How about three more? Squeeze the legs. Glutes are really working, the quadriceps are working. Good, I think we're here at two. Squeeze, get that added squeeze at the bottom there. Last one, let's squeeze it down, hold. Hug the belly in, press the low back into the mat. Feel the burn, and then slowly release it up. Whew. All right, that was our Pilates B leg lift. This is a great pose, our leg circles. So again, flex straps are gonna be attached to the tower. Go ahead and roll all the way onto your back. Gonna bring those feet into the straps. Hands overhead, just soften the head down, soften the shoulders. Heels come in towards one another. And then exhale, you're gonna make these big, huge circles with the legs. Inhale as you bring them back to center and lift. Exhale, open up through your hips. Press your low back into the mat. Inhale to lift. Flexing the feet. Good, squeeze it up. So exhale, shh. Big rotations along the hips and lift. Pull the belly in. Do one more in this direction. And lift, okay, let's switch it now. So take it down and then open up. Oh, you definitely feel that, right? Completely different muscles working when you reverse the direction, it's amazing. Take it down, pull your belly in, legs are strong, do one more in this direction, squeeze and release. All right, leg circles, those feel great. All right, our next move is rows. So you're gonna sit on the mat, you're gonna press your feet against the tower. I want you to think of a lifted chest here. So we don't wanna cave in, we wanna be nice and lifted. Shoulders are drawing up and down your back. You're gonna hold onto the sculpting bar with an overhand grip. Now I want you to rock the weight back a little bit in the sits bones. So right then and there you'll feel your abs engage. I want you to hold that. You can soften the shoulders down. We're just gonna bring that chest, up. we're gonna bring that sculpting bar right to the chest. So you wanna squeeze. Take your shoulder blades, squeeze them together as you bring it back. Shh. Now you can keep the knees bent like I have here, or if you want a little bit more of that added challenge, you can straighten the legs and start to draw the chest back even more. Oh gosh, feels so good. This is a big stretch here. Work in the arms, the biceps, the shoulders, the chest. Let's do two more. 
and one. We'll squeeze here, right at the bottom. Squeeze, draw the shoulder blades together. Shoulders down the back, engage the core. Lift and release. All right, those are our rows. Nice work. So those were the eight basic moves on our Supreme Pilates Pro. But as you know, there's over 50 moves that can be done on this one machine. So we combine Pilates, bar, and yoga all into one. So we get these great workouts the entire time. So if you want some more information, please check out our website. And of course, you can order more videos online. So I'll see you on the mat.